I'm back. How long has it been? Well, I'm living at home again. Sleeping in the same bed. Wearing the same clothes. University was supposed to help me move on. But I'm right back where I started. My mother says she's happy I'm home. But I know she's just worried about me. Or maybe she doesn't want to give me a chance to embarrass them again. Keep your enemies close kind of thing. I was living with someone until a month ago. Stefan. I knew it was never going to last. We were both running away from our insane families, only to end up having to live with them again. Still, he was the only one who really knew me. I miss him. Now I have no one. I'm alone. I miss him so much. It feels like someone died. I met someone today. That's a lie. I meet him every day on my way to work. His name is Todd. Todd the coffee shop guy. I'm always disappointed when you're not working. You're the only man in my life right now that really gets me, understands my needs. Your perfect hands that perfect smile. I once worked in a coffee shop. I hated everyone, and now I'm just like them. Delivery. How are you, Navid? Very good, ma'am. Just need a signature here. And uh, uh, initial, oh. here. <laughs> you sure I'm not signing over the deed to my house here? Uh, no, just the uh, delivery. Nice, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I can't take that. Oh, Naveed, would you like to come in? I can offer you a nice cup of hot chocolate. No, thank you, ma'am. It's Sally, by the way. That makes me sound really old. I've only been with a few men in my life. All of them ended badly. Last night was different. He was in town for business. We both knew we'd never see each other again. He took me to his hotel room. When he first touched me, I could tell... I feel suffocated. I almost forget what it means to be happy, to not be alone. But moving back home, living with my parents again, this place isn't home anymore. I moved on. I was out. They just don't get me. But how can they? 
When I'm with other people, I lock myself behind invisible doors. Every day, I force myself to put on a happy smile, like it's my favorite colored lipstick. It's important to look good, even if it's only to hide what's underneath. My name is Valerie, and I'm the greatest actor in the world. <laughs> Une femme, c'est tout un paysage. Une femme. I gotta ask, why are you working on a farm? Rob told me you were an engineer before. Uh, my family had a farm outside the city I'm from, and uh, so I guess I like working with my hands. Hmm. Well, you are a strange one. <laughs> it's a good thing I like strange. Excuse me. <laughs> Things are bad right now. I don't know how much longer I can keep going. I have no privacy in this house. My mother goes through all my things. She throws away my love letters. I have to hide my diary so she doesn't find it. I miss Stefan. I dream that he would knock on my door one day with flowers. Say he was sorry. Grab my hand, hold our middle fingers up to the world, and run away together, like in the movies. Leave it all behind, all of it. But then I wake up, and I know it's all just a dream. Hello, Valerie? Uh, just one second, please. Hey, someone's at the door for you. Yes? Uh, sorry, um, I think I made a mistake. Wait, where did you get that? Uh, I, um, I just, uh, uh, I found it. Sorry. Who are you? Nobody. I'm, I'm nobody.
Oh, let me. Please. Tea. I drink tea. 